In this example, we're given four quantified statements. And again, notice the quantifiers, all in the first statement, some in the second one, every, which is just another variation of all, and some in the last statement. And we're told to write the negation of each of these quantified statements. To negate the first statement, where we're told that all vegetarians eat carrots, the only thing we have to do to negate this the only thing we have to do to prove it false, in other words, is to find at least one vegetarian that does not eat carrots. So this claims that all vegetarians do. If we can find at least one that does not, we have negated this statement. So we could write some vegetarians do not eat carrots. You could also say at least one vegetarian does not eat carrots or other variations on that. But notice the key that we negate the statement eating carrots and we change the all to some. So to negate a universal quantifier, we write an existential one. Similarly, for part B, to negate the word some, this existential quantifier, we will negate it with a universal quantifier. So this says that some birds are flightless. To negate this, the opposite of this would be that all birds are not flightless. In other words, all birds can fly, let's say. Again, notice we changed some to all in the negation, and then we negated the flightless part with they can fly, or they are not flightless. And this is typical when you negate a universal quantifier your final statement will have an existential one, and vice versa. For part C, again, we have a universal one. Every is just like all. So saying every car salesman is dishonest, the negation of that would be that some are not. Or you could write at least one is not, and that would be equivalent to that. or instead of not dishonest, you could write honest. And again, there are different English variations on the same logical statement. For part D, we have the word sum that we're going to negate. And so we're gonna have a universal quantifier. And then we'll negate the part about causing cancer. Maybe a more natural way to say this would be to say, no foods cause cancer. And you should be able to tell that those two statements written down are equivalent. All foods do not, and no foods do, are the same things. So all, none, every, these are universal quantifiers, and some as the existential quantifier. 